Neil, congratulations. A, a brilliant three points. They worked so damn hard for that tonight. <laughs> yeah, they did. Um, <clears throat> I thought the way we started the game was exceptional. Right from the kickoff, you know, we ended up with a corner. We talked about how we haven't played well against a 3 5 2 um, this season and, and what's probably played a part in that. And we, we demanded more from different positions on the pitch. And I thought the aggression and the intensity they showed, you know, our full backs were bombing on every time they got the ball like wingers. And to make a team like Stockport change their shape after half an hour, um, you know, is, is really pleasing because, because we did it so well. And make two changes at, at half time as well. What were the, the key messages both before the game and, and then again at half time? Um, I challenged the boys at the weekend um, just a little bit about that. I think ability wise, we've got one of the best teams in the league. Um, I challenged them about their mentality, just challenged them about everyone chipping and everyone training that that. 10% more that that you know working that 10% harder we can't carry any players and getting the same performance week in week out no matter who we're playing against and um, you know this was obviously a perfect game live on telly against the probably the best team in the league and the, the mentality showed through. With all of that in mind with the, the fact that it was under the lights on live on TV and, and against as you say one of the better teams in the league it was an easy one for them to get up for I guess the challenge is them being up with that intensity every yeah, game. But it's not it's not to, it's not a case of them getting up for the game. It's 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 more you know when I'm saying challenging their mentality, I'm not just talking about people kicking lumps out of people and being aggressive. I'm talking about uh, you know recognizing your role in the team. So in in the game tonight, the fullbacks and our wingers were our key players. Everybody else would have been overloaded on the pitch. You know our two centre forwards were being marked by three. Our our two centre halves were being marked by two, and our midfield two would been had three up against them. So we're overloaded there. Our spare players are wide. So you've got to now say well, them players, you're the you're the match winners. You've got to be aggressive. You've got to not turn down opportunities to hurt them. And they didn't. And that's it's the bravery in that. It's the responsibility of that. And they did it tonight. Uh, another clean sheet. The defence magnificent. Your two centre halves were like. A brick wall all game long, and, and as you mentioned, your fullbacks in the way that they're able to get up and down as well. A word on Richard Brindley um, and the way that he never gave up on what might have been a lost cause in the lead up to the goal. Again, that mentality, you know, he, he's he's bombed on, he's flew down the wing, he's tried to get in on Ruben's reverse pass, pinned their wing backs back, and then not giving it up, and had the composure, and Carl Wooten had the composure, and Jake Reeves had the composure, which we all know is important. And then in the second half, Brins defends like a lion, puts his body on the line, takes the hitch just like the centre half did, because they were they ended up three three four, you know, they changed the system three times, they ended up three three four and just bombing it forward, and. You know, we still wanted to try and play, but it gets harder when you get tired as the game's wearing on. Um, and we had to soak up the pressure. But other than Rooney's shot in the first half, I don't feel like we were threatened too much by a team that's been creating so many chances week in, week out. They look like a really well settled back five now. They've done well. And, you know, credit goes to Ben Turner, I think. You know, typical of modern society today, I'm sure after the Halifax game, there was all sorts going on on social media. Um, and, you know, I had a good chat with Ben. We've lifted him straight away with the group. We don't do, do blame culture. I had a good chat with him during the week and he's come and he's responded and now people are raving about him. And, you know, negativity, there's too much of it in the world at the moment. We need to be positive and look after our, our players and we'll get that sort of stuff in return. Does tonight prove that you can beat anyone in this league? Did you need that proven? Um... No, I, I, we can beat anyone. I think anyone can beat anyone in this league. I think um, we can beat anyone. It's just about that consistency. If you're going to win a league or you're going to get promotion, it has to be every single week. You can't carry, you can't have off days. You know, you can't carry any more than two players in a team. If two players just aren't at it or aren't having their game or don't play with that energy and that tempo or the tactical knowledge of how we're going to break down the team system or shape, it only needs a couple not to do their jobs and not to count here as, then as average as everybody else. Uh, you say anybody can beat anyone in this league. Dagenham and Redbridge have, have won at Torquay this evening. The gap is, is nine points to the top. I know it's early days to be looking at tables and things like that. But what does it tell you about the league and, and how you feel that this, this season will progress? It will be. T I think anyone that finishes above Stockport will probably end up winning the league. That's how highly I rate them because I've watched loads of them. Um, Thank God Torquay have lost the game. I'm starting <laughs> to think they were a winning machine. And under Gary Johnson, anything can happen. So it's... Um, like I say, the season, everyone has, normally everyone has good times and, and the odd bad time. We're disappointed. We feel we should be unbeaten. 
We really do. We looked at the games, the goals we've conceded for the games, and you go, there's not one game where we feel like we didn't deserve to at least get a draw from it. Um, sometimes we haven't done enough to win, but the sloppy goals, and like you say, we've I think one goal in the last four games we've conceded. That's a bedrock of something that might, you know, turn in to be good, providing everybody stays at it. Good stuff. Appreciate your time. Well Thank you. Tonight, Neil.